In this final screencast, we are going to create a summary of all of our data. Rather than graphing each individual question, we're going to graph all of the questions to see where our strengths and weaknesses are. We'll follow the same process by highlighting everything and then clicking the chart icon. Now, unfortunately, the chart has been put in front of some of the data that we need. So I'm going to click Cancel, and we'll follow a different method this time. We'll click over here and click Insert Chart before selecting our data, and that will stop it from putting it uh, in front of all of that other data that we need. I am okay with the column, but because I haven't pre-selected my data, I now need to select my data using the same process as before. And this time, because of the type of chart we're creating, our data is actually in rows. Each row will be a bar, uh, a group of bars, and the um, sort of, not at all, will be part of the legend. I have not selected the labels, so I'm going to uh, unselect both of those boxes. And under the data series, because we now will have a legend, we need to say that row 22 will be the not at all, row 23 will be the sort of, row, row 24 the yes, and row 25 the totally. Our categories will actually be our question titles, which are of course up at the top, and our chart elements can be filled in afterwards. So this is my summary chart. I'll put in my name. And under the x-axis, those will be the questions asked. And the y-axis will be the responses. If I scroll to the bottom, we'll see my chart, which is rather tiny. And we can copy and paste that later. I'll make it just a little bit larger, just so that we can get a, a sense of how it's going to, to work and look. And you can see that we have a bit of a problem because the categories down at the bottom don't look appropriate. We, the bars have been clustered by question, which is perfect. However, the labels are not appropriate. So I need to click and select the x-axis. by double clicking and then selecting the x-axis and I want to format that. So once again I double clicked, selected the x-axis and then clicked format. I would like the labels to go like this which would be 90 degrees, I can type it in and I can click OK. Now we see that the labels are much more appropriate, but they are still far too long. The simplest way to rectify this problem is to go back to our data and up at the top, change these to be much shorter titles. So here I'm going to change this to say layout spacing. This one will be layout dead space. This one will be layout, easy to read. And I'll put in my little hyphen. And now when we go to back to our graph, you'll see that it is much more appropriately spaced out. I would need to do this for all of my different labels. However, in the end, I will know that in the layout spaced, my largest responses were yellow and yellow is yes. Not as many people said totally and almost as many people said sort of. So this is an area that I'm not doing as well. I can look across and notice that this question here as well as this one over here were my best questions and as not at all is the blue, this question here or this question over here are probably my worst areas and areas needing the most improvement. Clearly this chart still needs a little bit of work. However, you get the general idea about how to complete your summary graph.